Hi, I'm Bert Nussbaumer from macrobeat.co.uk. An interesting week indeed, where we finally got the breaks in the dollar that we've really been talking about uh, for a while and expecting for a while. Uh, the key events obviously right now is uh, the Brexit talk. So we have a lot of uh, Brexit headlines, a lot of flip-flop from good to bad, to bad, to worse, to good. Uh, so it's really hard to get a strong feeling where this is all ending. Obviously, the market is still going uh, for a deal, which is probably the common sense out there. Uh, but some of the headlines this week we were reading rather a little bit cautious. And the biggest worry I still have is that we just end in an accidental uh, no deal Brexit. Uh, the UK government is bringing back the uh, internal market bill to Parliament uh, next Monday. That obviously means that the uh, there's a clear set timetable now for any breakthrough on the Brexit talks, which either going to be at the weekend or uh, earlier Monday. After that, uh, it gets tricky as if this internal market bill would get a vote in the UK Parliament, then obviously the Brexit talks are over right there and we end in a no deal. But you know what, this is politics, hard to read. Yes, we probably get a deal, but there is a risk of no deal. So let's just focus on what else is going on over here. The first slide I have for you is the uh, Europe versus US uh, data surprise index. It's something we looked at in July when the EU surprises started to ramp up on the top side. And that is when we had the, the big rally in the Euro in summer. Uh, now, just of late, you see the orange line is the EU surprise, while the, the blue one is the US surprise. So US data started to disappoint, while European data started to uh, uh, surprise to the upside, which Obviously, on the next chart, you see uh, the euro dollar chart after consolidating really since August. We finally had a breakout. And just this week, we finally take, taken out the 120, the highs for the year, uh, and rallied quite substantially up to 121.80 uh, so far. Uh, as it stands, price section starts to look like the market is really structurally short euro. Uh, I could see this move continue really into year end, and I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, if you're going to be hitting 125 at some point later in December. On the next slide, the dollar index, we talked about it uh, the last many, many, many weeks. Uh, finally, we did get that 91, 92 uh, break and close below that important Fibonacci level. Uh, we traded right down to 91, which would actually have been a rather strong pivot from the last sort of two, three years, but we've taken that out very easily. And I would you know, sort of think that we just continue to grind lower and could easily see the lows of 2018 down at ATA. Uh, I don't expect the dollar collapse. I think it's just going to be a slow grind lower. Uh, on the next slide, uh, we have gold. We talked about gold uh, in the last few weeks as well, that it just looked technically very weak. We did finally break that 38.2 people level at 18.36, which sort of opened the door for a test of the 50. Uh, a FIBO at 1763, which so far, as you can see, held very well. Gold is now trying to get back above that 1836 uh, level, and it really needs to do that in order to get some stability. If we file, then we have to assume that gold really hasn't seen the downside yet. But I think the uh, we got the shakeout. People got sort of stopped out in this move. I don't think that gold is returning to the same sort of story as we had early in the year. So I, I think this sort of 2000 level, uh, uh, we may see it again, but I think all those dreams of two and a half or 3000 is over. I wouldn't be surprised if we stay in the 1750, 1950 range for the next six, nine months easily. Uh, last but not least, the Dow. We obviously had this sort of breakout as well on the Pfizer news. We still have a big gap there from that big waxing news. And we just continue to grind higher. And, and given how uh, low volatility we have here at the highs, and we consolidate at the highs, really would indicate that, you know, X, any sort of dramatic headlines, that there is a, a chance that we really do get a Santa rally uh, and st stocks remain big and even higher throughout uh, December and possibly even January. So the only risk here possibly will be a no deal Brexit in the next few days, which I think would not only be a bearish Europe story, but it would as well shake up the global equity market. That's it from me. Thank you very much indeed. Bye-bye.